everyone welcome back to the integrity botanicals youtube channel today i am finally talking about the vapor high voltage lipsticks and i think this is what everyone's kind of most excited about um this is the first like full-on lip formula that vapor has ever released um they do have lip nectars which are more like the sheer option which i think i'm actually going to review next because i like the idea of reviewing that in the same week so you can kind of get your more natural option and these are full-on high voltage lipsticks as the name would suggest so they are 35 dollars a piece quite the luxury price point but i think if you find a shade that you will wear routinely the formulation is beautiful so like i said they come in both satin and matte finishes they are cruelty free items as well and we have how many two four six eight ten twelve beautiful shades to share with you so i'm going to be lip swatching as always i will definitely have a photo down below as well of all the colors so you can check them out um and i just really really am pumped about the shades but we'll get into that as i start swatching them so let's start with the shade bear bear is one of their satin finishes and this is a uh, I think described as a sheer nude. I would not call it any of these lipsticks sheer. They're all really nice, full coverage with just like a one, two, three swipe. What I like about these is that the formula isn't overly dry despite the more matte finishes of them. They are all very opaque and even, even the deeper shades. And they're very comfortable to wear as well. So they have that velvety kind of finish. Mind you, this is a satin formulation. The satins are... Uh, a little bit creamier as you would imagine so they glide on even more easily but both the formulations are really nice and this is a really beautiful more mid-toned um peachy nude that i think would look good on a lot of people next up we have the shade chemistry chemistry is much more fair than bare um but it's still that really nice peachy tone it almost has a little bit more pink to it it's a little bit more vibrant on the lips um comparable but a little less warm um the bear is more of like a honey kind of nude then we have the shade share which is a matte finish oh i'm sorry the chemistry is also a satin finish share is a, a matte finish it's a dusty sheer pink it is very that got a little mauve to it so it's kind of more like a lilac tone um, that I think is actually a very flattering nude shade especially when paired with a lip liner a lot of the cure Weiss liners would look good with that because they're a similar kind of shade then we have the shade murmur and murmur is the shade that I have on now this is another satin formulation it is this more peachy kind of coral this coral does pull a little bit more orange but i really like these kind of shades and i like them um, with warm eyeshadow as well i kind of have like a warm blush on the warm lip and i though i think this is a more traditionally summer look i think it's kind of nice to uplift the face a little bit in the winter months with a more warm lip color then we have the shade madam and I think that this is gonna be a hit. This is just that good middle of the road kind of shade. This is a matte rose brown. And that's exactly what it is. Really ultra flattering on a deep complexion. This would pull more like a nude on you that I think would be equally flattering as well due to the tone of it. But it's that very Kylie Jenner. Yes, we're still saying that because it just is what it is, but it's that rosy 90s kind of brown that is ultra, ultra flattering. That's why we all love it so much. Then we have the shade Pin Up. Pin Up is a shade I've actually been wearing a ton. And this is a, they describe it as a satin warm pink. And I think it, it is that. It's a little corally, but it's again a more pink toned coral. This actually looks really good on. Um, I can't believe how much I've been reaching for this shade. It's not a typical shade that I would wear, but I think when you apply a lip balm on first and you can apply this more sheerly, it actually looks great on. I've really been liking to wear that one a lot. Then we have the shade Au Pair, and this is another satin formulation. This is a pinky lilac kind of shade. This is very much like an Ashley shade. This is like something I could see myself wearing every single day. I would see a lot of you wearing every single day. I like that little touch of purple to it. I think it makes it very, very flattering, even more so than I think it already is. Then we have the shade Blaze. Blaze is probably my favorite of the more deep tones. Blaze is another matte finish, and it's just this really beautiful, orangey, you know, poppy 
sort of red very full-on and vibrant very fall time but this is a nice bold lip option for those of you who don't like your traditional full-on red this is a lot more orange to it and i think orange for whatever reason is a little bit more approachable a little bit more wearable then we have the shade adore adore is a satin um finish as well this is a little bit more red to it than blaze um also a little bit more orange. They are really similar. Blaze has that little bit more poppy tone to it. I think they look more different on the lips than they do swatch. So you guys will see that as I'm speaking about the shades. Um, but this is another really beautiful orange shade. If I wanted something a little bit more... I mean, it's a satin. The other one's matte. So there's a, there's a wearability to this one, I feel like. Um, even a little bit more so than Blaze. Then we have the shade Primal. Primal is another matte formulation. This is just a really classic blue tone red. Blue tone reds um, are really flattering on all skin tones. Um, let's say skin types. On all skin tones, as, as well as making your teeth look super, super white. So I really love blue tone reds for that re reason. And those are actually a little bit more hard to come by, so it's nice that they have that in the lineup as well. All of the deep colors, by the way, do not bleed, and they apply really, really evenly. So that was exciting to find out upon playing with all these shades. Then we have the shade... Uh, Legend. Legend is again is an orangey red. This one has the most red out of the ones I have shared yet and it is also a uh, satin finish. So this one just has a little bit more red to it. If you're looking for something a little deeper, um, that would be the one for you. And finally we have the shade Bold. And a bold shade it is. It is a satin red plum tone. So this almost has a little purpley plum to it. I think it actually makes it really wearable and a beautiful winter lip option. I actually think it's a really unique red because um, it has so much pinky plum to it, but it's still very much a red. Um, I know when, when the shades are similar, it's kind of funny to talk about, but if you love lipstick and you love makeup, you know what I'm talking about. All right, you guys, so that's it. That is all 12 shades. I swatched them for you. Check down below so you can see them all on my arm. You can see how they look. Um, oop, the hair fell down. Let's just roll with it. Um, you can see how they look in comparison to one another, which I think is really helpful when deciding which one exactly do I need. Um, I'll put stars next to my favorite shades in case you are curious um, when I list them all down below for you. But thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for the love and support as always. Let me know if you've tried one yet or if this video helped you decide what shade you will be trying. Really a nice formula. I think if you could find a shade that you think you get a lot of wear out of, definitely price point justified due to how beautifully they wear and how comfortable they feel on the lips. I've been really anti matte lips. I feel like matte lips have kind of gone out of trend um, because I just think they're uncomfortable and I never was really on that bandwagon but I would kind of force myself to be because I really like the way that they look but these I like the way they look. I do not mind how they feel. Put on a lip balm if you want to sheer them out a little and get even more, um, you know, bang for your buck out of all of these. A little bit more mileage out of the lip products, especially at this higher price point. But a knockout product from Vapor. I'm really, really, really liking the rebranding. I will talk more about it as I share products with you. Oh, and um, these do have a really mild sweet sort of scent to them if that's not offensive at all and it doesn't linger i know vapor used to be pretty heavily scented so i like to make sure that i share those things with you guys but thank you so much for watching please make sure to subscribe i do upload here twice weekly and i don't want you guys to miss it um catch our instagram i'm gonna be doing some igtv videos that's something new that we're trying out um subscribe to the newsletter you know just stay in the loop so you don't miss me um, or anything else that we got going on. But thank you so much and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.